Hello everybody, Sigark here, back with another educational video for The Infected. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything the game doesn't tell you about mineral extractors. I'm going to be explaining why you need them, where to build the extractors, how to find each mineral throughout the map, how to fuel the extractors, and finally, I'm going to be providing a few other very helpful hints at the end of the video as well. So stay tuned. The mineral extractor is a placeable item that will auto farm various ores every five minutes. Depending on where you place them, they will retrieve different resources. They are also craftable at any stage of the game because they do not require a tech blueprint, much like other more advanced items in the game. The extractors will gather almost all essential resources for you. So with that being said, you should definitely build them as soon as possible. There are three main ores that will be mined with the mineral extractor. Aluminum, cobalt, copper are what will be mined in the cleared out dirt sections of the map, as shown here. Besides each ore, the extractor will also pick up coal and small stones. For every two ore that the mineral extractor picks up, you will get approximately one coal and one small stone as well. If you place an extractor on a grassy area, it will mine iron ore, iron fragments, as well as small stone. So this is my main base here. So I have one extractor here. So this is picking up copper for me. So I have a ton of copper in there. And then I also have three other extractors which are mining iron ore. This one I sometimes will mine small stone as well. So if you go into here, there is an option. So you can check this box off here and that will mine stone for you specifically. Instead of the five minute, it'll do it every minute. So if you're at the point in the game where you're needing a lot of small stone, just go over to your extractors and you can switch that back and forth as you need it. When it comes to powering the mineral extractors, there are a few different options. Early game, what you're gonna to wanna to use is this green biofuel. Biofuel can be crafted or found in towns. I do have an entire guide for biofuel and how to, to basically get an unlimited amount of it. So if you're in need of that early game, definitely check that guide out. I'll have it linked in the description below. Mid game, you're gonna to wanna to switch from biofuel to the oil can. So the oil can is either picked up via the oil extractor, which is a completely separate item, or you can also loot it in nearby towns as well. Keep in mind the starting location on the map has a, a town right next to it, and the loot there will respawn very, very often. It seems like every day. So you can run through there and pick up a few oil cans if you need to. The last option for powering the mineral extractors and the best one is the oil pump. So the oil pump that I'm looking at here is by far and away the best way to power your mineral extractors. It was just released in the version nine update very recently. So what this does, it powers every single mineral extract that you have placed on the map, regardless of where you place the oil pump and regardless of how far the mineral extractor is from the oil pump. So it's extremely overpowered right now and it'll probably be nerfed soon. I mean. He'll probably make it so that you'll have to have the oil pump in, in somewhat close vicinity to the mineral extractor itself. That'd be my guess. Who knows? The reason that this is a late game build is because it requires a lot of power to run, 150 power. And it is also quite expensive to build as far as the resources it requires. So my general strategy for mineral extractors as I progress through the game is just to build them as needed. So this is my main base right here, and this is where the game starts you off at here. So there's a copper site here. Down here is aluminum, and to the south of that is cobalt. So what I usually do is I build my first one at this site. Typically I'll build it in the grass, believe it or not. That's gonna pick up the early game iron fragments and iron ore for me. Keep in mind, 
if you look at the bottom left here, if you press N, you can easily move your mineral extractor from the grassy area over to the uh, regular dirt area. So depending on whether you need copper in this instance or iron, you can switch it back and forth as you need. So now I'm gonna head down south here and I'm gonna show you my other site and I'm gonna show you how I have it set up. Also, once you decide on where you wanna build your mineral extractors outside of your main base, I recommend building first a log cart. And then what you wanna do is place two storage containers on there. So we got one, Okay, so I don't think it lets you build them on the log cart. I think you have to build them on the ground first and then place it. Yep, that's it. Much better. So now when you move it, the containers will stay on there. Otherwise, they just kind of glitch into the air like that. You don't want that. So when you use a log cart with the storage containers on there, instead of pushing it forward, you're going to be pulling it which is kind of a cool thing. Let me get my gate open here and then I'm gonna head down south. Okay, so here we are. I'm at my aluminum extraction site here and I have two mineral extractors. I also built two storage chests here just in case I needed to offload some extra stuff. So in here I have mostly have coal because yeah, you get more coal than you know what to do with in this game at a certain point. If you don't want to bring the planks all the way down here with you, you can do what I did, just build a saw bench, chop down a tree and then build a few planks here and use those planks for the storage containers. But yeah, these have been going for a while. I haven't emptied them, so they're, they've been full. I should probably bring these back to base. We got tons of aluminum, coal, small stone. And then just down here will be the cobalt site. So let me see how that's doing. Yep, these are both full as well. So all of the ores are very important. You'll have to use cobalt, copper, and aluminum a good amount throughout the game. It seems like aluminum is the most important one, especially when you start building your power grid. Because if you look in the power section here, the wind turbines, which is usually my go-to power source, it requires double the amount of aluminum than the other resources. So 10 aluminum ingots for each wind turbine. So what I recommend doing if you're going to build your base in this side of the map. So I think what I did as I built one or two on my main base, one aluminum, one cobalt, and then I built a second aluminum as soon as I possibly could. That way you can get your power grid going as soon as possible. Also another helpful hint, if you're going to be around your mineral extractor sites a lot, not a bad idea to build a few spike traps or a wall because um, as you see, the problem I'm running into here, you could have some wildlife attack you like this bear right here. Oh wow, I got two of them. I got one there and one there. Sneak attack. I don't think I've ever seen two bears at the same time before. Okay, so now I'm barely moving because my sun resistance is at zero. <laughs> okay, so if you're far along enough in this game to build the mineral extractors, I hope you found this guide useful. If you're just starting off this game, check out my perfect start guide. I'll link it in the description below. That will show you what to do in the first few uh, days of gameplay, get you off to a good start. 
Also keep an eye out for my other tutorials and guides as well as news updates on the infected. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.